Greetings and welcome to another video in the Voice Attacker News series. In a previous episode, we made two commands to raise and deploy the landing gear. In this episode, we're going to merge those two together so I can show you how to use the dynamic commands and the command segment token. Quick word about tokens. In Voice Attack, you've got tokens and variables. Tokens are not variables, they work differently. Tokens either retrieve information or they process it, but they don't store it. Unlike your variables, which do store information. There's four kinds of tokens. You have a token that retrieves a predetermined piece of information, and like the time or the date. Tokens that retrieve a user selectable piece of information, something like a text token. Tokens that perform an operation or information given by the user like a random number and then the last one is tokens that perform an operation and retrieve user selectable information to use an operation like the length of a, a string that's tokens in a nutshell there's more information in the manual about tokens and what you can do with them let's get into the command we have the deploy and raise gear commands here we want to merge those together. So we're going to go into raise gear and we're going to copy everything in there. Cut that out. We're not going to need the command afterwards. We're going to go down to the end there and paste it in. And I'm just going to put a blank line in. Got a little bit of space there. I'll OK that for the moment. Go back and get rid of that command there to delete it because we don't need it anymore. I've gone through dynamic commands in another video, which I'll put a link up in the top right corner somewhere, and which explains how to use dynamic commands. But in a nutshell, we need to remake the command. So we need an open square bracket, deploy, semicolon to separate the phrases, and we want phrase. And we want to close bracket. That's now one part of the command, which is deploy or raise. And then we want gear. We're just going to keep it very, very simple for this one. Now, when you use dynamic commands, you then have the option to use a command segment token, which reads what's in the what I say line. We now need to change these things around a little bit. What we need to do in here is. We need to say put another if statement. So we need to begin if in single condition. And we want to use the text option. And we want the squirrely bracket. And then tokens will have to be in capitals, by the way. CMD segment colon zero. Close squirrely bracket. And then if that equals deploy, OK. I'll move that up to the top. What she's doing is she's looking at command segment zero to see if it's equal to deploy. Now on this line here, first bit there, that's command segment zero. Voice stack always counts from zero upwards in tokens to remember and then that is segment one and then if we had then something else would be segment two segment three and then what we need to do then we need to put an if in here we're going to do else if we want to be specific here Command segment zero equals raise. Then we want to do this lot. If the first command segment equals deploy, we want to do this bit here. Else, if the command segment zero equals raise, we want to do that bit. And we need an end condition at the very end. It'll be that one there, so we're going to take out end. 
and that should do the job it says done notepad this is what's going on deploy gear the gear is down deploy gear the gear is already down raise gear the gear is up raise gear the gear is already up deploy gear the gear is down deploy gear the gear is already down raise gear the gear is up Deep. so we've turned two commands into one normally you wouldn't do it this way with these types of commands because if you want to add more words in here say we wanted to put in lower for example then we then need to add in another line in here so we need to then do the condition builder and do or command segment zero equals lower we need to add another condition in there so it's either if command segment zero equals deploy or lower do this so now get that this lower gear the gear is down that works normally i wouldn't do it this way but i just wanted to show a simple way of using the dynamic commands and the command segment on something we'd already done if you've enjoyed the video or found it useful click the like button and if you haven't already hit the subscribe too and share the video out until the next one take care and i'll see you soon toodles